Welcome everyone to Nostalgia. I think that's how you pronounce that. Except it's NES as in NES graphics. Today we're playing the Conjurer. Uh, it's a scriber class. A frail hero that can do some pretty wicked magic over time. His spells consist of, uh, for the most part, regeneration spells uh, for health and uh, spells such as uh, Simmer and things like that that allow uh, damage over time each turn. This is a turn based game, an RPG found on Beyond. And I've been wanting to do a, uh, a playthrough of this game for quite a while, but I wanted to wait until I had a lifetime subscription for it. I just managed to get the uh, money today to do so. Uh, the screen on the right that has the text on it from people shouting in world, you probably can't see unless you're in full screen mode and at 1080p. I think it's 1080. I'm pretty sure it is. But if you just want to watch the game, that should be fine on the regular screen. Because these, uh boxes with the text are pretty big, so I imagine you'd be able to read them from here. Okay, so a mysterious voice wants us to turn left here. Let's go ahead and turn left, see what happens. We have to press the action button to open it. There's actually a medal you can win, which is basically Beyond's version of achievements, if you get every chest in the game, I believe. Unless that's been changed. Let's go ahead and just equip this. This gives us attack plus one. Or attack one, whatever. Apparently they've managed to slip an assassin through the portal with us. So, according to this, it seems like I'm some sort of time traveler. And here's the basic battle screen here. We have to put in a command, I'll just put an attack here. I'm doing Jack Doodley for attack here. Managed to do two damage there. Let's go ahead and use an ability. We can use Fizz. Let's use Fizz. He takes three damage. Now what's what's gonna happen here is uh he's going to take damage each turn for a while. I forget how many turns it does until it wears off. And he was defeated. Now, if attacks like that, like Fizz, uh, we'll get other attacks, like, um, we'll get other abilities like Poison later on, which, if we use in battle, we can use Poison and Fizz at the same time and do damage from both on each turn, as long as they're active. You can pretty much combo these things onto an enemy. That's gonna be a while before we get that, so... 25 goal, that's good. And here is the world map. I can't control anything at the moment, but there seems to be two party players over that way. He just went into a battle. And here is the first town of the game. In our village. Alright, let's go search around and find some quest. Anybody that has a question mark over their head has a quest. Or an exclamation point like that. I think the question mark means a quest that I'm already active on. However, the first quest we want to pick up is Spider Venom. It's the simplest quest that you can get at the beginning of the game. Basically, he wants us to gather five 
Venom sacks from spiders outside of town. Very close to outside of town. You do not want to travel outside of uh, town very far at all. The Abandoned Venice will probably be the last quest we do for this area. We're gonna be at least like five more levels than we are at the moment to be able to attempt that. Alright, let's go ahead and figure this out. We're looking for her father, Krasis, but he's been selling off to Balzakia on some sort of official business, and our main quest is now to get us to Balz Balzakia. The Balzakia Castle, to be precise. The Balzakia Castle is in a town over some caves from here. It's actually not very far at all. Um, let's see. I would really like probably some armor. Maybe the Wayfarer clothes. As the simple robes are probably going to be too much money to get at this point. I'm pretty much not going to get 160 gold anytime soon. Yeah, my armor and weaponry and pretty much everything at the moment pretty much sucks. I have so little health and magic it's not even funny. A red slime draws near. Now just to warn you guys, this game is going to be heavily grind based. Although, when we're in a new area, I'm gonna show all the battles that I get in. But if I have to, uh... Grind intensively to get... More levels or something like that, I'll cut that. At least for the most part, anyways. And I was defeated by the first enemy of the game. Well, I guess technically second. The great hero has been defeated by a slime. That's kind of sad. And we're back. At least this is, gives me the chance to explain death. The only thing death does is it takes you back to the nearest town, and it takes away half your gold. But gold is kind of valuable in this game. As you can see, we now have 30 instead of the 26 that we had. I think we had 26. Uh, there's some treasure chests hidden around town, if I remember correctly. And there's a couple hidden ways to get to them. Like here. see what this has. A HP potion. That's nice. I could use that. Especially this early on in the game. Later on you're not gonna really need them as much as you'll have abilities to heal you. Like the first one I think we get is renew which I think we'll get in a couple levels. And that'll basically be our method of healing for a while. And the only thing that we'll really need is uh magic herb herbs because they'll give us back our MP and this is pretty much the only game this is pretty much the only game that I'll play a magic quest class in because I really like the conjurer because he's very very good in some boss levels Or not boss levels, but bosses in particular. If there's like, later on in the game, if you have like a lot of enemies, you can do a lot of damage to them very quickly as the conjurer. Just because of the multi... Multi-targeting spells that you can do. We found a venom sack. She, I think, will heal you from poison. And I think there's one in every town. 
The innkeeper, who we're gonna probably see a lot in this town. I keep forgetting I have to press the yes. Alright. We just got heal of our HP and MP. That's good. I'm hoping we'll get a level up pretty soon here. Cause I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of having only 13 HP. Basically, I fight these guys once, and they have to, and I have to go and reheal myself at the end. Like seriously, he just did four damage to me out of 13 health. That's so sad that another venom sack is that two now? I think. I have an HP potion, so I think I'll be fine to kill another set. At least right here, there's no chance of two enemies popping up at once. If you're in this little brush around town, only one enemy is going to show up at once. But as soon as you walk out of these little, this little forest area into the plains, you can get attacked by multiple enemies. Which pretty much means instant death for you at this point in the game. You need to be level... Three, I think maybe before I have a chance against multiple enemies. Oh, I leveled up. And now we have renew his ability, so maybe I have a better chance now. I wasn't expecting to get renew this quickly on. I'll show what renew does, or I can't actually at this moment. Don't have the MP for it. Unfortunately, that takes away five MP every time we use it, so that means a third of our MP at this current moment will be gone every time we use it. I think we still need like three venom sacks. And we'll get into the percentage stuff like that later on. Slime drawn ears. Not a red one, just a regular one. Which I think is weaker than the regular, I mean, the red slime. Defeated already. I'm kind of annoyed how low the chance of getting a tree spider is here. It should be like one of the more common things that show up here. Because honestly the red slime is kind of... Kind of annoying. I think it has more HP than the tree spider has the same amount. They should basically just have green slimes and tree spiders in this little area, but whatever. Because it takes forever to get the venom sacks here. Because you'll usually end up with a red slime or a regular slime instead of a tree spider. Maybe if I go... there's one. I have to be careful now because I have a little bit low HP. And they tend to take three, they tend to take three or four damage when they hit me. I probably can kill it maybe... now. Okay, so it probably has about 10 HP. I'd estimate that. Is that three or four Venom Sacks that we have now? I don't remember. I can do one more battle, and then I have to go back to town and go to the inn, because I'll be out of MP at that point. Because Fizz takes away 3 AP, and we only have 3.
defeated. That's four or five. I'll come back out here and kill one more for let's see if it drops a venom sack. Cause honestly, I'm not sure. Hope this is a tree spider that pops up. I'll be so happy if it's the first thing that pops up. It won't be though, with my luck. Nope, red slime. Of course, red slime. I'm gonna be blocked on all sides by one enemy. That's how you escape a battle. Well, you probably could have imagined that already. Ah, yeah, red slime again. Oh, I'm surprised I managed to escape it that quickly. Tree spider, here we go. Okay, it has 9 HP. Because the Fizz took off 4 each, which is 8, and then I hit it once, and it had, and that was 1, so that's 9. That's all the Venom Sacks for sure now. I know I have 5 now. Alright, we see 15 experience and 10 gold. Alright, let's go talk to this person. Mildred here wants us uh, to get a witch's orb from downstairs to unfreeze her cellar. So we're going to go ahead and do that. It's just a simple puzzle, which I don't remember the exact solution to, so we're going to have to take a second to figure it out. I think it's a cleric up there, but I'm not sure exactly. I don't remember the exact way of doing this. Ah, oh, let's see here. Hmm. Oh, wait, here we go. Alright, we got the orb. That didn't take very long. I'm not even sure exactly how I did that. I did that completely by mistake. And we see 5 experience and 10 gold, and we just leveled up. So we're level 3 now. Unfortunately, the next um, quest she has is a little bit over our level at the moment. We probably want to be f level 4 or 5 before we attempt that. And I want some Wayfarer clothes. That'd be very nice, but I need 3 more gold. I 
So let's go ahead and go ahead and take a sleep at the inn, and then we're gonna go out and get what is it now? I think six more gold. Because it's three gold to sleep at the inn, so now we have like 39 gold instead of 42. But we're moving along. Now that I'm level 3, I'm okay with going out here and possibly meeting multiple enemies at once. Ah, three did, did three damage there. And they gave us two gold, so we need four more. A tree spider. This is gonna give us two gold as well, I think. That was pretty easily defeated. We're get now that we're level three, the enemies are a little bit easier now. Their damage we do to us, uh, the damage they do to us is dropping, and we're doing more damage to them. Let me go ahead and renew first because if they're hitting me all three at once, and that's okay. Not particularly bad. That's gonna be five damage each turn though until I kill at least one of them. I wanna take care of the red slimes first because they're the ones hitting two. And my renewal already fade, but whatever. This next turn I think we'll kill the second red slime. Yep. And I think at this point I can survive pretty easily. And I hope this is going to be at least four gold. Five gold? Better than what I expected. I think we actually have over what we need. Which is okay with me, because we need to trip the end now. Alright. This will give us defense 3. Which is better than what we have. I think it's only defense 1 or 2. Yeah, it's 2. Yeah, this only has a cell value of 1 gold. That's pretty sad, especially since it came from the future, apparently. Basically where we want to head out here is to a cave to the northwest, and as we go along, we meet stronger enemies like these two. I was not expecting to reach these two this quickly. As you can see, they're hitting me like... S they're hitting like sixes on me. Each. So Renew is not even going to help me that much, because they're going to kill me pretty quickly. So I need to kill one at least very quickly. Probably like within the next turn. Yeah, probably within the next turn. Okay, the wasp is defeated. So I, don't have, a, I have a better chance now. At least Slime apparently has more HP now. So it's green slime, red slime, and blue slime so far. 